Good morning or afternoon, kindergartners. Today's Thursday, and I'm here with math to review how we can make two groups equal and how that looks as an equation. We know that when we add more to a group that we're doing addition. Well, that looks, there we go. Well, addition, right? When we're adding more. So if I have two different groups and I want to make these groups equal, I use addition. So today's assignment, you're gonna be doing exactly what we're doing together right now, but right now I just want you to watch and just watch and answer the questions that I ask you on here, okay? Here I have two rows of rectangles, okay? This is my first row, this is my second row. Are they equal? Are they the same? No, they're not. I can tell that the top row has more um, rectangles and the bottom row has less. I can see that because the top row goes out farther than the bottom row, okay? Now, kindergartners, I want to know how many rectangles are on the top row or on the first row. Can you count with me? One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to write that down. How many are on the bottom row? Can you count that with me? One, two, three, four. I'm gonna write that down. Now, I said that the top row has more. I need the bottom row to be the same or equal the top one. So I need to add how many more rectangles so that the four rectangles down here equal six. Are you thinking? There's one way I can do this by using my picture. I can draw a line down. How many more, how many lines did I have to draw down? Two, and that would make it equal six. So I would be adding two. Another way I could do this is I could hold up six fingers and take away four, one, two, three, four, and I'm left with two. Another way is I could draw how many more, I have four, so I count on four, five, Six, I added two more, okay? Let's do another one together. Let's see if I have this many circles on top and this many circles on bottom. Remember, what we're working on is making the groups equal, the same, and we do that by adding more to that bottom group or the group that has less. So the first step that we need to do is count how many are in the first row. Can you count with me again? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six again. I write that number next to it because I know what I'm doing. Or so I know what number I'm trying to get to. Okay. Down here, how many circles do I have down here? Three. I'm starting with three, right? Now, how many circles do I need to get to six if I'm starting at three? Let's try the counting on strategy. What comes after three? Four, five, six. I stop at six because that's the number I need it to equal. How many more circles did I draw? I drew three more, so I get to plus three. I'm writing the equation down here for it to equal the amount at the top. You can also think about it, kindergartners, as you're finding the other partner to make six or seven or whatever is at the top, okay? Let's do another one and use another strategy to find how many more you need. I like drawing the line. That's how what I like. Um, let's see. Let's do this one. Okay. All right, I have my two groups here. Are they equal? No, they're not equal. Which one has more? The top one, right? I can see that the top one goes out farther. And I can also see with my eyes that this has three and this has one. So I need to write three up here. Because that's how many, that's how much, I, how many, I said it right the first time, how many squares I need to have down here so that they're equal. So we did our counting on strategy last time. Now I'm just going to draw a line down. So this is one and I need it to equal three. How many lines did I draw? I drew two lines, and you know what I forgot? How many squares did we start off with? One, and I added two. That equals three. Pretty cool, huh? Okay, let's do one more. And I'm gonna do it with the line strategy again. This time I'm gonna use, what shape is that? Looks like a 
has three sides. Did you say triangle? I hope you did. Okay, step by step. All right, which, or let's start with the top row. How many do we have? Count with me. One, two, three, four. Perfect. I write that next to it. Down here, how many do we have? One. I need to add more to get to four, right? So I'm going to put the plus sign. How many more do I need to add? Count with me. One, two, three. To make it equal, how many did I add? Three. One plus three equals four. So kindergartners, today you're going to do two math pages, front and back. This is exactly what we just did, and I did that example with you. You need to draw the line. You first need to count how many are at the top row, then how many you start off with. So this one has one, two, three, four, five. This one has two. How many more? One, two, okay. Then on the back of that page, you are going to write numbers one through 20, okay? And then you're gonna use the tiny tumblers. Now, it tells you this time how many tiny tumblers need to be on each side to equal the number at the top of the mountain. So make sure your circles are small. So this should be five on this side. One, two, three, four, five, and two on this side. One, two, because five plus two equals seven. Okay? All right, kindergartners, keep working hard. It's almost Friday.